Every time a new version of .NET is released, I'm filled with both a sense of excitement and a sense of trepidation. What will I need to learn? What will I need to unlearn? .NET now has annual releases and we are seeing new features more frequently than ever before. And one new feature in particular that came in .NET 6 in 2021 really threw me. In older versions of .NET, we had a program file and within that, a program class and a main method. This was the entry point to our application and it would often be accompanied by a startup file where both dependencies and middleware could be registered. I really liked this setup. I liked the way everything was organized with clear separation. Yet every new template I instantiated with .NET 6 had this new fangled program file with everything dumped in it. No startup file, no organization. And the new program file looked just like a script. It felt so alien and I resisted it. I found ways to create .NET 5 projects from templates and then update them to .NET 6 just to keep the old way of doing things. And I wasn't alone. I saw so many comments on social media about this exact same thing. This new way of doing stuff is called the minimal hosting pattern because well, because it's pretty minimal. The pattern was created to remove much of the usual ceremony and make setting up a new project a lot easier, especially for people new to C Sharp. There are some good plus points to consider also. Take global using statements. We've reclaimed all this space at the top of the file, getting straight into code. And not only have we gained space at the top of the file, but with the new file scope namespaces, we can get rid of at least one layer of indentation. All this made me ask myself, why am I resisting so hard? Maybe I could embrace this change and make it into something I'm happy working with. So after a year of use, I've come up with with some simple ways to organize the program file and make it more manageable and maintainable even if it grows quite large. The first task was to manage dependencies. Most projects will have dependencies from third-party libraries, you know, the stuff you download from NuGet. And of course, there are all the dependencies that belong to the project. All these need to be registered in the program file under builder.services, where services is an iService collection. So the first thing we can do is to write some extension methods for iService collection. Let's make a new file. I like to call this the name of the extension method. So in this case, we'll call it add dependencies. You can lump all your dependencies in here, or you can split it into one for project dependencies, one for third party dependencies, and so on. In our newly created class, we need to change some things, like the name. My preference is to make this a static partial class called service collection extensions. Now, I know that partial classes can be a little controversial, but this allows me to see all the methods that extend iService collection but have separate files for each extension method. How you do this is entirely up to you. Next, create a public static method called add dependencies that returns iService collection. To make this an extension method, we'll need to pass in the iService collection services as an argument using the keyword this. And to make it all happy, we need to return services. You can pass in any additional arguments such as configuration if required. Now for the fun bit. We can start to tidy up our code by cutting all the relevant dependencies from the program file and adding them to the new extension method. Then we just need to call the new extension method on builder.services. Great! Already this is looking a lot tidier and easier to read. Now let's repeat that for web application. Minimal APIs are another thing that came with .NET 6. Although in truth, I felt I was less resistant to those. So let's take a look at how I organized those. But remember, you can use this process for any kind of middleware organization. We can create an extension method for web application in the same way we did for iService collection. Again, I'm going to create a static partial class called web application extensions. In here, I'll create a public static method called add APIs. We need to pass in the web application app as an argument using the keyword this and then return app. 
Finally, we can just copy all the APIs from the program file into this method. Then we call the method from app in the program file. I really like this way of organizing minimal APIs. You can create a process for grouping APIs based on functionality or whatever convention you choose. And I think this is a really good middle ground between a full-blown controller and the disorganized mess that having many APIs in one file could create. But what do you think? Would you do something differently? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.